Anurban, in order to understand consciousness in general and biological systems as well, some would claim that you, you really only have to understand this unique accidental phenomena that, that emerge here in this one place. Others would say you have to understand the whole universe, how the whole universe works in order to understand any of the specifics here. From your work that you've been doing with biological systems in terms of the, the totality, uh, where are you on this spectrum? So basically, uh, initially I believed that uh, um, if we understand the hardware that we have in our brain, then we can explain consciousness. Yeah. Uh, so it was, it was my understanding also in the beginning. As an experimental physicist, we think that everything, every property is encoded in the matter. Huh? And the matter emerges con consciousness. Right. So it comes out from the brain. But when I, when I did the experiment, I tried to understand how the property actually emerges from the biological materials. Because I used to take the materials from the brain, from the neuron, and try to understand its properties. And I found that when I'm trying to understand a single protein, the protein is not complete. It has a certain set of musical vibrations which defines that particular protein. It's a very set of frequencies which is very specific to this particular protein. But it shows two, three bands. One is on its own and two others are there. One is to communicate with the higher other person which, which works very slower way and another one with a very faster one with a down way. So, so it is, it, it's just like I am here, I stretch out my two hands. So then I looked at other materials and I found that they also have two hands. And they have three bands, one of their own and two others. And they are joining their hands. But if two persons join their hand with one hand, at the two side you will find one hand is left out to create a chain. So, from experimental point of view, when I looked at it, then it is never complete. So, from the believers of first kind, that everything of this universe, the entire consciousness, could, it could be an emergent property of the material. Yes. I become a believer of the second kind of um, class, seventh class, where we think that, uh, that um, consciousness, to understand consciousness, we have to understand the entire chain of vibrations. Every single biological material has got a composition of symmetries. So symmetry means a very particular kind of ordering. Yes. Okay. So it orders in a, in a like a checkerboard. It's, it's order. All the squares are side by side, side by side. It's only one kind of symmetry. So every single symmetry has one kind of frequencies. When multiple different symmetries are together, they generate different frequencies. They come together and create a music. This is what I call musical system. So every single biological system is a musical system. You say system, you mean a protein? You... Proteins, uh, DNA, DNA molecules. And so you, how down do you go? Do you go from protein, you go to the single amino acids? Single molecule scale. Single molecule. Single molecule scale. And you have a sub, how about atomic level? Yes, subatomic level. Uh, so so the... every constituent of matter, how it's organized, has its own frequency, its own musical expression. Yes. yes. So it has its own characteristic frequency which can define itself. And, and each protein of the same kind has the same music. Yeah, exactly. Okay. exactly. So when I try to, try to understand that how, how long do we need to go? Because that is the next question comes. That um, if I look at the DNA level, then if you can see DNA is a spiral. If you look at the proteins, you can find several spirals inside the proteins. And if you look at the in the solar system, the sun is moving and all the planets around it, yes. right? Sun is moving at a very high speed and all the planets around it. So it's a spiral. If you look at the galaxies, it's a spiral. Right. So from the smallest scale to the largest scale, you'll find existence of spiral symmetry everywhere. A spiral is just like a spring. If you press it and leave it, it yeah. starts vibrating. Right. So it has a very characteristic frequency. So what nature has done, it has put these spirals in such a way that they, it can compose a music. And it does that from the smallest scale to the largest To the scale. largest scale. And what, what's the order of magnitude? Yeah, so um, we measured, when we measured the DNA, it's 10 to the power 15 hertz. So 15 zero after, after one. Okay. Very high frequency. Yeah. Yes. And uh, if we think slower scale, for an example, um, um, if we think of 
uh, the heart cell replacement cycle. For an example, every 14 days, you, all your skins get replaced. Yeah. So there is a cycle that is going on, or a rhythm that is going on, for, which has a period of seven, 14 days. So your heart, 50% um, of the cells get replaced within within 50 years. So in 100 years, almost almost all, if somebody yeah. lives yeah. that long. So that means mm, if 100 years, it's around 10 to the power. Uh, 11 seconds around, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's 10 to the power minus 11 hertz. So 10 to the power minus 11 to 10 to the power 15 is about biological system That's like right. us, uh -huh. we humans. But this tree would be different, the uh, ant or an elephant would be different. So if we think of the whole universe, then Planck scale is 10 to the power 43 hertz. Uh, minus 43, yeah. Uh, 43 hertz plus 43. Yeah. And when you go for entire universe, 10 to the power minus 40. So 10 to the power 80 hertz is a vibration of chain that is connecting smallest to the largest of this universe. Okay, and we are around 10 to the power 26 hertz, 10 to the power plus 15 hertz to 10 to the power minus 11. So this is a, we are just a small string of the large string of the entire universe. So to understand consciousness, we do not need to understand the whole. If we understand the threshold part of it, the entire string creates this mirror image into the small. But what's the difference in consciousness because the same analysis can be done for the heart or the kidney or any part of the hmm. body hmm. and uh, so you, you're talking about consciousness or you're talking about the brain? Is the brain different than the kidney and why, why then does the brain produce consciousness? Yeah, so when we are considering uh, there is a particular thought uh, in ancient time they used to think that um, Actually, our feelings are generated in the heart. Yeah. So you would say, don't break your heart yeah, yeah, yeah. and this kind of thing. They had a little knowledge about the brain. So they used to sometimes they used to cut the hair yeah. because it was an unnecessary thing. Yeah. Now we know and we strongly believe that brain is everything. Now we need to make another jump. Yeah. That is not only the brain, your entire body part is an integral part of your information processing and your consciousness. Yeah. So if suppose you are touching something the touch signal is converted into a set of particular set of frequencies in your skin itself before it goes to your brain. But you are listening to me with sound vibration, right? Yeah. The sound is entering in your, in your brain through your ears, right? And those sensors are also creating some pulses, some frequencies. If your touch frequency and your sound frequency get overlapped or match, then it will be mixed up. Your brain will be in a typical disaster, yeah. right? So you asked about um, where is the consciousness? Consciousness is in the brain or in the in the in the uh, in the whole body. So my view is that consciousness we need to take into account whole body because all the sensory information that is coming from your skins, from your eyes, they should know each other. There should, there should be a harmony. And as soon as it enters into your body, it is converted into frequencies. Okay. If I look at your brain, I only see vibrations. So that's why entire part of it, but it doesn't end with there. At every single moment the earth magnetic field is fluctuating seven times every second and there are so, uh, there are sun cycle sun flare cycle of 11 years so every single rhythms need to be taken into account that's why your consciousness or our con my consciousness or every single human being con consciousness is part of the cosmic universal consciousness